Hello. Um, I'm here right now to go through a cache of art supplies that were packaged up for me by Stella. Um, we didn't know each other, but theoretically this was done for my benefit and so I want to express my gratitude. Also, there's a cat in the image. Um, <laughs> hi, Missy. Missy wants to help, but she's not much of a help when it comes to art supplies. Um, I would have done this as like a blind unboxing type of thing, but it actually didn't occur to me because it's felt kind of emotionally raw. Um, yeah, I didn't I didn't know this person, but they knew that I would be probably helping um, in the aftermath of their passing. So, um, weirdly, uh, this person was incredibly organized and thoughtful. Um, so I've gotten used to basically their voice in my brain going through stuff because they left notes on literally everything um and it just kind of goes to show like i guess the weirdness of the situation that i find myself in uh there are no notes and some of these items are for techniques that i have yet to learn but i think they could be beneficial for me slash be used for some of the stuff that I do day to day anyway, um, especially because I have such a large archive of collage materials. Um, and anyway, it's just, I've been waiting. Um, I chose today because I'm finally alone in my space and I'm looking at it and I'm trying to figure out like, how I'm going to reorganize all of my art supplies and stuff like that. So it seemed like a good time. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I, uh, I packaged everything back up, not as nicely as it was done originally. Cause again, this person was very, very organized, um, and basically utilized every inch of space. Uh, the only things that I've removed were a bag of thumbtacks that you know, I didn't need, and a little, like, pen box for something. It was just cardboard, and I think it was there to, like, hold things in place, like, package filler, basically. Um, but this is pretty much how I receive things, if a little bit messier. Um, also, I might do some swatching as we go, uh, or I might tack on a thing at the end with uh, swatches of some of the materials but anyway let's let's get into it so this is on top it says keep with art supplies and it has sketchbook and drop cloth plastic um, so as you can see here we have a ton of drop cloths um, it looks like some standard shopping bags, but also some just plastic sheeting, which is always useful to me. Um, I use it when I dye my hair, also um, when I paint, sometimes when I do like plant or home improvement projects. So that's pretty cool to start with. Plus like I do save plastic bags for various things. Um, and then this, to me, this is not so much a sketchbook, but it's an entire thing of cream colored graph paper, handy pocket in front. Um, this could actually very much come in handy. There have been times that I've needed graph paper and I just don't have it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how often I would use this for sketching because you know, this is my preferred sketchbook format. Um, for anyone who's watching this who hasn't seen my sketchbook, uh, 
It has tattoo designs. I'm trying to do this one handed. Um, stamps, proofs of stamps that I've made, basically um, recipes and notes to myself. It has a couple like references for finished pieces I'd like to make. This is an illustration of a Scottish folktale, fairy tale slash uh, song, Tamlin, um, that I've been working on for a while. Uh, it almost feels like a finished piece like this, but hopefully I'm gonna turn it into a an illustration. Um, got some like Latin calligraphy stuff, uh, some tattoo designs I've worked on recently, and this is probably where I'll start swatching. Um, I, that doesn't really matter, but uh, I always put weird stickers and stuff on the inside. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, this isn't a tour of my sketchbooks. I just figured, like, I'd show <laughs> the difference and why I'm like, oh god, this is a sketch. Okay, it's a sketchbook. Um, which is not to be dismissive. It's actually very cool uh, for planning stuff. And then uh, in the bottom here, we have a roll of tape, which trying to figure out. Uh, it feels like a heavy masking tape um, with the coating on it. It almost seems like it should be double-sided, but I think it's single-sided. And it seems nice. It seems like you could cut shapes into this for masking and stuff, which like regular masking tape doesn't usually have quite the durability for that sort of thing. So that's pretty cool. Okay. And then here, this is beeswax collage supplies, which is a technique that I'm familiar with because of a class that I took at Cabrillo College in um, mixed media slash collage. Um, but I've never done it myself. So, I mean, a lot of the things in here I could honestly repurpose for other stuff that I do, like candles and things like that. So it's incredibly useful, but I'm pretty well set up. <laughs> if I get into beeswax collage specifically. Um, so, you know, let me get my finger out of the screen. Sorry, this video is not shot very well. Um, so here we have a rather huge box of crayons, which is nice because I currently, I don't think that I have any crayons, at least not any that I enjoy using. Um, and I do like to sometimes use them for like water resist or to like draw on a hot plate when they get really smooth and melty. So that's pretty neat. Um, and then we have just white beeswax, a pound of it, um, which I could use for candle making and such, but also obviously for beeswax collage. Uh, I honestly am not, like, I've seen this tool before, but I'm not familiar with it. It's, like, little hand iron slash cutter. It gets hot. Um, I already have a wood-burning tool, but this seems like it could be used to apply heat in small areas a lot more safely. So I'll be interested to check that out, figure it out later. Um... And then, let me set this down for a second. Um, in the bottom of the bag, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and pull stuff out and then I'll show you what I'm looking at. Um, we have this basically like a hot plate. It still has wax in it. Um, and, the instructions and a paintbrush that's already been used for this technique but um it's pretty nice it has temperature control and uh 
you can get additional pans for it. So if I wanted to use it for like sugar art or something, I could also do that. Uh, yeah, I was reading the manual and it's used for dipping things in wax or like low melt plastics or for like cooking sugar art applications. So I feel like this is a pretty great multi-use tool that I now have in my arsenal. Um, Yeah, the cover is kind of hard to get back on. Um, I got it earlier, but yeah, there we go. Just kind of snaps back on. Um, so that's that. And I just have to stop and say for a second again, um, thank you to Stella. You'll be in my thoughts a lot going forward, um, partially because of the experience that I had helping um, deal with your affairs after your passing. But also, I'm just, for, for the lack of overlap in the art techniques that we use, I'm just kind of stunned by how useful uh, this kit that was put together for me is to stuff that I want to do and learn about. Like, I am going to have to reorganize my whole shelving system to make some of it fit, but I don't feel like that's that much of a strain because, like, I'm already doing stuff with candles and wax and things. And yeah, I'm just, I'm grateful. It's hard. I, I've been putting this off and I've been emotional about it. Um, because I've been living through so much of what it means to like package up a person's life and end things out. And it's just, it's been a lot. Um, anyway, not the worst. I feel like it's a good experience that I needed to have. There's some aspects of it that have been super super hard on me but um and then also just the the strangeness of like knowing of this person for so many years of my life but not knowing them personally and then just getting such an insight into what they were like um and they were a very special person so I just want to acknowledge that um, and I'm not just saying that because I got presents out of it. Um, <laughs> anyway, so here we have a whole thing full of brushes, which is going to be really nice because I'm always abusing and or losing my paint brushes. Um, I also have my nerdy gurdy to build, so I'm going to need to be using like wood stains and stuff like that. Um, so it is actually very useful to have a new supply of paintbrushes. Plus there's a palette knife in there, which is super nice. I don't have one currently. Um, I'm not gonna take these out individually just because you can kind of get the impression. They're all like, I like to use a lot of fine detail brushes. These are all like mid-sized, but like pretty high quality, pretty nice brushes. And there's some like, teeny tiny ones in there if you can see but like you know nothing nothing too crazy um but super useful and in here pens for oil painting um so a whole bunch of uh like extra large bolds uh, black Sharpies with oil paint. Um, <laughs> this is a set. Do not separate. Um, super useful for me. I, I use these a lot. I use them indoors and outdoors and for all sorts of projects and I'm always destroying them because I use them outdoors. So that's cool. And then, um, yeah. So I've got this little zip pouch. Which, sad to say it, these have not even been opened. Um, 
it looks like the only one that's been used is the black. Oh, maybe the pink, but by and large, they're mostly unopened um, Chromatec paint marker pens. It looks like these are all oil-based. Um, some of these colors on the back will probably be good for gritty detailing, which is super neat. Um, I will have to swatch those later, see what they look like. And I do like a carrying case. It's a little unnecessary, but it's kind of cool. I might be able to put uh, some of my other oil paint pens into this and then use the box for the ones originally in here. So it might help me with my reorganization stuff. Um, so this one, I haven't really flipped through or taken it out yet, but, uh, what does it say here? Uh, it says, Kaylin's not yours. <laughs> I mean, wow, now I feel awkward, uh, but they put it in here for me, um, so that's okay. Uh, <laughs> So this is a Pantone like color guide, um, which I haven't worked too much with that, but that's probably going to be useful because there's some things that I want to print and whatnot. Also just like, wow, that's pretty fucking neat. Um, similarly, there's a little like paper slash plastic sample pack here uh, from Chameleon Books and Journals. Um, but it has a lot of different like press boards, I guess. Um, which little samples of this kind of stuff is pretty useful. And the plastics probably have some interesting applications. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, can you like imagine like I'm not even halfway through like all of the little stuff fit into this tiny like box <laughs> I'm just I'm really impressed um I couldn't even repack it as well as it came to me um anyway so we've got some extra large graphite blocks um kind of hard to open um still sealed uh, there's an olive green that's kind of cool. I've never worked with like a green or a navy graphite. Um, yeah, these are kind of, I haven't done like large scale like graphite or charcoal in a long time. Um, speaking of which, there is also, there's a chunky colored charcoal, which I haven't really worked in colored charcoal. I've done uh, colored chalk. Um, and some big sticks there, but, uh, that's a type of art that I used to do a lot in high school and I really enjoyed, um, it's just huge, like photorealistic pieces using like charcoal and graphite and stuff like that. So I don't know, it's kind of, uh, pushing me back towards, <laughs> stuff that I used to do that I've been interested in doing again, but it's like, I don't know. I just, I have to focus my time and effort on a lot of the tattooing stuff, but it's nice, I guess, to be invited to expand my horizons as an artist again. Um, yeah, these are pretty nuts. Um, and yeah, again, like a lot of this stuff isn't even used, which makes me sad, but it also means like, wow, I'm getting a lot of really quality supplies. <laughs> um, these are just uh, wax blocks, I think, which can be used like crayons. Um, like I tend to work small, so I'd probably be using them for you know, the wax collage type of stuff or other projects where I need wax colors um, as opposed to my usual <laughs> illustration type stuff, but it's still cool. It's, it's 
you know, if the graphite and the charcoal is an invitation back to my old art, then uh, those are, there's a lot of invitations to play as well, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, here's some metallic tissue paper. Not anything insanely remarkable, but I actually really love silver tissue paper and I just ran out, so good timing on that. Um, we've got some Sharpies, uh, broad ones, which is cool because I have that roll of craft paper in my kitchen that I like to use the broad Sharpies on. Uh, some of these are metallic, some are not. Maybe they're all metallic, actually. Meh. Well, those are pretty cool. Um, we've got some Stabilo highlighters and one for layout, which... I'm guessing means that it's a uh, non-photocopy, which is nice. I, You might have noticed that I like to work in blue non-photocopy and red pencil, for instance. So this could be really useful to me. I'll have to see how it goes. Um, got a bag full of Prismacolors. Um, which Prismacolors, I have a bunch of these, but it looks like a lot of them are colors I don't have or that I have fewer of. Um, and it's always nice to have Prismacolors around. They're just, they're high quality. Um, they're a good supply for like sketching and whatnot. So I'm gonna have to, part of my challenge is gonna be organizing these things so that I remember to use them to the best of my ability, which is something I was already kind of struggling with, but I think this will push me in a better direction with that, hopefully. Mm. Okay. I know I've changed orientation on this video a few times. Sorry about that. So got some drawing supplies. Um, which I don't really need the re-up on mechanical pencil lead. I have way too much of that shit. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. There might be some sizes in there that I don't have on hand or something. So at least it's interesting. But excitingly, there's also eraser refills, which I always need those. Like, that's the problem with a lot of my mechanical pencils is like, they have nice erasers and the erasers wear out before the lead runs out. And then I'm just like, oh, what do I do with this? Um, hmm, super Sharpie. I haven't actually gone through this bag yet. Um, I would probably go through the colored pencils too, but that would take me a long time, I feel. Um, so I'll just go through the drawing supplies a little bit. Have more of this masking tape artist tape that's uh, a little thicker than your average masking tape. I've got a China marker. Missy, please give me a minute. Um, which that's pretty neat. I use those sometimes. Got a ton of tortillons, which that'll be great to go with the uh, charcoal and graphite because uh, that's mainly what I use tortillons for. And then uh, more tortillons. We have a Micron 08, which is a larger size than I usually use, but seems like a good addition to my inking set. Um, oh, these are neat. Some non-roll black Ticonderogas. So they're, uh, they're triangular. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's pretty neat. And obviously they've been sharpened with an X-Acto blade, which I appreciate. Uh, myself also being a art school, well, in my case, art school dropout, um, which makes me sad, but I may go back someday. Um, this person was a graduate with multiple degrees, uh, which is kind of amazing. Uh, one of which is I think from the school that I went to, CCA. Um, so it's really interesting to see what kind of work they were doing or at least wanting to do. Um, we have some more 
pencils of various shapes for sketching. And, uh, oh yeah, one of these vinyl guys for working on film with, which I haven't had one of those in a minute, so that's kind of neat. Um, this is going to be a long video, I, I apologize, but I think it's worth it, I guess, um, for lack of a better way of saying it. Got a ton of spare blades for X-Acto knives. Um, some erasers of various sorts. I've been sort of through this box, but not all the way. Um, oh, that's cool. Lettering guide. Um, I believe, or a font guide, uh, which I... I have one, but it's not as detailed as this. Uh, that seems really super neat. Got some utility scissors. Um, oh, a brayer, which I need. I do more printmaking stuff now than I ever used to. So this will be good for my like larger uh, stamps slash lino cuts that I do. Um, and a scraper, which I have a few of these, but this is a nice one. Yeah, it feels like, uh, it feels more like a kitchen scraper, except harder, um, which I have some hard plastic ones, which just feel like running your nails along chalkboard if you're like scraping and anchor paint with it. So I think this will be really good. Um, got some paper squares. Pencil sharpener, which I think I already have one of these. They're pretty okay. Um, little magnifier. That's neat. Times eight. <laughs> um, more exacto blades, which is cool. I'm always breaking them. Got another pair of snippers with long handles. It's cool. Um, and oh yeah, and two exactos, one with a grip. That'll be nice. I have a ton, but like I just I use them, I leave them weird places. Like it's just always good to have more on hand. Um Wow, like, just look at how much stuff this is. I, kind of speechless. Um, we're getting towards the bottom, but anyway. So we've got a origami paper pack, which that pattern is really beautiful. It looks like it has some coloring pages in there as well. Um, but that's cool, I do fold origami. Uh, slash I like to use this sort of thing for like note cards and stuff and then I've got two like woven pencil cases um, which oh, yeah see that's pretty nice they have uh, interior pockets as well and I always like things that are black <laughs> So yeah, um, I might have to get some key tags, then I'll be able to like put a little tag on the outside that says like, oh, this contains X, Y, Z. Um, yeah, since we're getting close to half an hour, I don't think that I'm going to do swatching right now. Um, <laughs> maybe I will in a later video. Uh, but yeah, um... Again, I just want to say, like, thank you to Stella. I'm sorry I never knew you. I mean, I think it's okay that I never knew you. You were very private, but I always thought you were super cool from what I heard. And thank you for all of this stuff that really is encouraging me to want to play uh, with art in a way that I don't always get to. So, yeah. Anyway, 
have a lovely evening. I'm gonna try to make sense of some of this slash start reorganizing. Bye!